Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is where we are headed, you guys. This is so pathetic. God, forgive us. Oh, my goodness. And forgive those of us who are being too silent and passive. Listen to this. Things are moving so fast in America's cultural revolution, the one underway now. You may have lost track of some of the new gender rules. Maybe you don't want to know what they are. Some of them don't seem to make much sense, much less comport with the high school biology you once learned. Remember that? Tough luck. You've got to learn them anyway. People are getting fired or getting drummed out of polite society for saying the wrong thing, even accidentally. So pay attention. If you, <clears throat> excuse me. A few years ago, the goal for transgender rights was acceptance. It sounds pretty reasonable. Most people thought so. Then it was legal enforcement of transgendered identity with punishment for anyone who doesn't use the right pronouns or eagerly share bathrooms. That happened. Now we're advancing toward mandatory transgender dating, for real. A transgender activist called Zinnia Jones recently lit into straight men because so few of them seem to want to date other biological men who are transgender. Jones tweeted this, I don't see a problem with telling straight guys who are exclusionary of trans women partners that they should try to work through that. Jones added this, these angry declarations that they have some absolute right not to be with trans women are just misplaced and inappropriate. Some absolute right to date who you want. You thought you had such a right. Silly you. Your personal romantic preferences are no longer your own. They're now an extension of your political preferences, and they are therefore public property. So if you're a biological man who prefers biological women, you are a bigot. Now laugh if you want. But like virtually everything that seems too absurd or too ugly or totalitarian to be real, it'll almost inevitably become a mainstream cause for the left at some point. And then what? Why wouldn't dating websites, for example, compel men to date one biological male for every five biological females? Why wouldn't Facebook and Twitter ban users for the hate think of preferring the opposite sex? Good question. If nobody stands up to complain, they probably will.